Hi everybody, Scott George here again, and this is another personal entry in the Wolf in the Mill Network. Um, this is a personal uh, entry uh, directed towards David Frazier, a uh, well-known privacy lawyer uh, from Halifax, uh, Nova Scotia, works for McGinnis Cooper. Um, and I want to start out, this isn't uh, not meant to demean or do anything like, like that or draw any type of attention, and I hope that this doesn't cause any, uh, Mr. Frazier any uh, issues. Um, so yeah, hi David. Uh, I didn't think that we would actually talk under such conditions. Um, I, I was really fascinated about what your role was in all of this. Um, as you can see, the uh, by the infographics and everything, you were involved somehow and it was never really clarified. I assumed it was the, the uh, contracts from years ago, but I think it goes deeper than that. Um, that being said, I'm not asking you to expose yourself, I'm not asking you to support me, I'm not asking you for anything like that, and for anybody watching, he never has. He has tried to be as impartial as he possibly could, and I want it known that, uh, because he is a, con a conflict of interest, he was never able to properly defend himself. From, not that any did anything towards him, like, I, everything was, uh, information-based, but I just want to, I want to be fair here, because, um, in the end, that David... You are obviously um, still kind towards me, and you're like one of the only people that even when my mother passed out of that thread, you still emailed me and just said, I'm sorry to hear about that, Scott. Um, and that meant a lot, David. That small gesture meant a lot. It really did. Um, I think that you know by now I'm extremely skilled. And I think that you know a lot more went on than what um, these people are willing to tell you. or And that this was really bad. And um, I think you know had this not been me, they probably would have done something really bad to me. Let's be honest, we know that. Um, When it comes to privacy, I'm sure you're seeing our, everything with artificial intelligence now, and you can see why I was yelling about those topics way back in 2021, and why I was trying to bring attention to it. And, you know, we could sit down and have a real big conversation about the direction of that, um, but that's not, you know, appropriate topic for today. Um, I'm sure that you're well aware of it, and it's probably something that you're, like, got you, you're reading up on a lot, because it's all over the news and everything. And, um, I'm not trying to be a doomsayer or anything like that. I'm just trying to warn about what this thing actually is. And uh, have I, if I had resources and money and a team of people, what I could do is terrifying. Um, with such technology and you know the directions that I see that going in, I, I, you know, my biggest worry is human dependency will shift too quickly to these technologies and we'll become too dependent on them. And then if something were to happen. It, it could be really bad. Um, yeah, I want to put that aside for right now, and I want to talk about... Um, I want to talk about... I want to talk about you. There's nothing that you can do about this, and I hope a lot of ways you don't feel bad. Right? And I'm sorry to have involved you in this, and I'm sorry for any extra attention this might bring you. Right? But you know I knew what was going on. You're one of the only people I had it when they locked me up in Mount Hope, and then you're on CTV, and we're talking about spyware and all these different things. You know I'm really smart, David. And I'm just trying to warn these people about what's really coming for them because of the things I've seen in my life. And it's not over yet. I feel like you know that. Now, in regards to this issue with Bill C-18... I, I need to say that it's not just simply a link tax, right? These companies are running uh, their AI software and gathering a bunch of information about these articles and stuff like that. And then they're going to use that to create trillion dollar markets. So when we're talking about these things, you're right, it is basically a link tax and they are attacking the way that the uh, internet works. You're absolutely right. But also these companies are getting more value out of these links and stuff than what they're stating that they are. And the issue is different from Meta, and the issue is different from Google. And uh, I think that, you know, they need to have discussion about how to deal with that properly. And I could have a longer talk, but um, I want you to just keep that in mind. And just, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being a good person, David. Thank you. Trying. 